What's up guys? So this is gonna be a one week later update video on the Intex Pure Spa Greywood Edition from Amazon. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so I've had this thing up and running for a week, actually maybe uh, eight or nine days. And out of those first eight or nine days, I've used it seven of those days. <clears throat> if there was any issues with it, I wanted to know within the first 30 days so I can get this thing sent back to Amazon. And uh, <clears throat> it's looking kind of ratty right now because I was actually in it today and then the power went out. And I just kind of threw the top back on. It started raining and it's been a heck of a day. But uh, yeah, so the only issue I've had yet is I got home from work one day, wanted to get in it, and it had an E90 code. And I was like, oh gosh. So then I started doing some research and found out that the E90 code, I started watching some other YouTube videos and basically I saw people tearing their pumps apart and replacing impellers, replacing brass rods, all this stuff. And I was like freaking out. And then I started doing a little more research and realized that the E90 code just means that water is not flowing through the pump for whatever reason. So uh, I doubted that my impeller or my brass rod was the issue because this thing wasn't even a week old yet. So they said the most common issue for the E90 code is the filters and that the paper filters are absolutely junk. And that's what happened with mine. And I'll show you what this filter looked like. So I would call that pretty clean for a filter. I mean, it's brown. It had a couple of the wife's hairs in it, but I took this off and put the brand, the other new filter I had on, and it uh, started working, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. They said the paper filters um, are very restrictive. I mean, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, I put the other filter on. It's been on there for two or three days, and I've had no issues yet. But from a bunch of videos I've watched, everybody's replacing these paper filters with the foam filters. So I've got uh, ordered some of those, got those on the way. I'm hoping that this one lasts until those come in. Um, besides that E90 code, I haven't had any other issues. Um, I'm still kind of learning this control panel. It's definitely not super intuitive uh, just because it always locks itself and... Um, the heating can be on a time period and I, I guess the way it works is whatever you have it set to if it doesn't reach that heat that point within a certain amount of time it will automatically shut off or something um, it's really weird I just keep it set on 104 I tend to like it anywhere between 100 and 104 um, so what does it feel like actually in the tub it's fantastic um, it, I mean, you're not going to have the jets like you do with a real hot tub, but the air bubbles from around the sides do still feel like jets, uh, and are better than nothing. That's for sure. Um, I think the instructions say you're supposed to change the water. Like depending on how many people are using it regularly. I think if two people are using it regularly, it's like every 40 days, um, from the looks of it, I'm going to have to change mine a lot more than that. Uh, I have been having to use, having to just drop a little of this liquid chlorine in because I didn't, it didn't, the hot tub didn't come with any chlorine or bromine tablets. And with COVID, there's a huge shortage right now. You can't find them locally anywhere. This is just stuff we had for our pool. So I've just been throwing a little bit in there every once in a while. And you're not really supposed to use this in a hot tub, especially an inflatable one. Um, at least from what I've researched. So I have ordered my bromine tablets and uh, they'll be here in a couple days. And when that happens, I'm going, when those come in, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the tub and start over. As you can see, the water is a little cloudy. That's after a week. That's two people using it almost every day for a week. Um, it doesn't smell bad or anything because we keep the chlorine in it, but it starts to get a little cloudy. You can see the bubbles. Let me get the uh, this screen. It's like sometimes you for the lock button you have to like hold it for so many seconds. You can see 
with the bubbles and stuff. So all any feeling of jet is going to be around the edge. It is pretty relaxing. Uh, surprisingly, I find myself not using these headrests that much. I like the idea of them, but it's something about the angle that just don't feel perfect for me. So I haven't really been using them. Um, I'd love to get one of the seats. They're thirty dollars, so I'm going to hold off on them. But the the most uh, the most needed object in this thing is like a cup holder. So I found one of those made specifically for this spa. It's clamped just like this right here, but it's got a flat thing on top. I will put a link to it uh, in the description. And when it comes in, I'll actually do a video on it and put another link there. But it's got enough. It's, it's a flat spot and it's got two cup holders and a flat area in the front. So, uh, cup holder and a place to put your phone is what this thing needs more than anything. And now it's locked again. It automatically locks itself every few minutes, which is super annoying. It's like who's going to come up and sabotage your hot tub. But, uh, it does heat up pretty fast. Best I can tell you is... Once you get it, it's probably going to take you about 36 hours if you fill it up with cold water to get up to 104, which isn't that bad. My hot water tank's actually right there, so I could hook up a hose and run, you know, scalding hot water out here and get it up instantly. But uh, if not, just plan on setting this thing up and, uh, you know, you can get it hot enough to get in in 24 hours, but if you want it max heat, it's going to take you about... Uh, 36 hours as far as durability it seems like it's made really well uh, i think in my last video i told the story about that that's an old intex inflatable kayak right there and uh we took those things down the river plenty of times on rocks and branches and never had issues with those until a mouse finally chewed through them in the winter uh th this thing seems like it's going to be made really well i know it's not foolproof um my goal with a system like this, if I got two years out of it, I would be satisfied. If I could get three years, I'd be happy. Four years, I would be ecstatic. I'd have no problem buying one of these every every three or four years. Um, just to get that new pump and all the new fittings and stuff like that. And have a, have a hassle and relatively maintenance-free hot tub setup. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts for now. I will, uh, I'll do another update video in a few weeks or a few months after we've used this thing for longer, um, and let you guys know how it's going, but yeah, thanks for watching. I will put a link to the hot tub and to the cup holder and everything down in the description below. If you want to click in that link and grab it off Amazon, that would help support my channel a lot. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.